Time for the biggest of the big ones then. It's the Investec Derby mile and a half for three-year-olds. And we've got a decent sized field for this one. Let's take a look at them at the top. We've got Country Craft Toss for James Shea. Fear the Man for Michael Scarlett. Gambit Martin Leader. House Hiding the Red Hot Unbeaten Favourite for Dan Hughes. Inferno Storms for Paul Rhodes. has also got Morse. Nettleton Hill for Darren Thompson. Raiding Party Leon Van Rensburg. Rapturous Calm for Craig Allen. Terrible Ancient for David Robertson and Trapanga Eyes for Darren Thompson. So a field of 11 then for this derby, the most important race of the season. And away they go in the derby, and it's a pretty level break. And who's going to be the one to take the run right over on the far side? Michael Scarlett's fear. The man's pulling for its head. It's got the rail. But it doesn't appear to want the leader. Morse is the one who's now come through to try and take it up, but it's going to be stable, mate, Inferno Storm who takes the lead there. So Inferno Storms is just about the leader for Paul Rhodes with his second string Morse in second. Then comes Raiding Party in third. After that one is House Hyden, the red hot favourite, the grey. Then comes Gambit, who's close up. That's the second of the greys in the purple and the white stripes. But it's Inferno Storms who leads the derby field then from Morse in second. Then comes Raiding Party on the inside is third. Two greys are next. Gambit and the red-hot favourite house hiding. Nettleton Hill between them. Wider of them is Terrible Ancient. Wider still on the track is Country Craft Toss. Right over on the far rail. Then you've got Fear the Man. Rapturous Calm in the green and the yellow. And finally at the back, Trapanga Eyes for Darren Thompson is the whipper in at the back of the derby field. But it's Inferno Inferno Storms, who leads by two lengths to Morse in second. Raiding Party on the inside, going well third. Gambit running a big race in fourth. The Grey then comes Terrible Ancient House Hiding, just tucked in mid division on the inside of that one. Is Nettleton Hill that's going to be looking for racing room shortly? It looks like Country Craft Toss is going to try and come round the outside. Also rolling around the course looking for room is Rapturous Calm. Trapanga Eyes is the back marker, but it's Inferno Storm who continues to lead the Derby field then by a good three lengths to Raiding Party and Morse. Terrible Ancient going well in fourth, Gambit being pulled out for a run House Hayden's now got clear run as well then comes Fear the Man and Rapturous Calm looking for racing room around the outside trying to get up the inside is Trapanga Eyes Country Craft Toss has now just dropped to the back they've got four furlongs to go in the derby and it's still Inferno Storm who leads by two lengths, through Morse in second Raiding Party moving ever closer in third Terrible Ancient going well in fourth then House Hayden and Nettleton Hill Gambit on the wide outside is starting to lose ground trying to run on his Trapanga Eyes Fear the Man Country Toss and Rapturous Calm with work to do. They're racing down towards the final two and a half furlongs and it's still Inferno Storms who's clear. He's clear by three lengths in the derby then from Morse in second. Raiding Party is third. House Hayden's now starting to get going on the outside but a lot of ground to make up. Terrible Ancient's on the inside of that one then Nettleton Hill but it's Inferno Storms he now he's beginning to stop. Here comes Morse on the outside and stable mate Morse comes to take Inferno Storms and going down to the final half furlong. House Hayden is flying on the outside. Raiding Party's coming through with a run but it's Morse in the lead. Morse from House Hayden and Raiding Party, they're coming towards that and Raiding Party's burst through to take it I think Raiding Party might have just got up on the line to take it the horse that we knew would like the soft ground, he may have got up, Morse may have held on, it's close it's close, House Hayden back in third, beaten for the first time and it looks like Raiding Party. Raiding Party's taken it by a short head. So Leon van Rensburg wins his first classic. He fancied it a little bit, but he wasn't quite bullish enough to tip it to win. Raiding Party, though, for Leon van Rensburg has won the Derby. Morse for Paul Rhodes, second again, fourth time on the trot. House Hayden for Dan Hughes was third. That one was probably a little bit too far back. Could have done we were a bit closer to the pace. Maybe didn't like the soft going. Trapanga eyes for Darren Thompson ran on well to be fourth and Rapturous Calm for Craig Allen ran on well to be fifth as well. Looking down the rest of the card, Nettleton Hill was sixth. Terrible Ancient was going well for a time in seventh. Inferno Storms led for a long way and probably if it had been two furlongs shorter might well have won Country Craft Toss. Never really got into it. Neither did Fear the Man and Gambit Ran a good race for the first four or five furlongs, but then was caught out for class and dropped out to finish last. So there it is then. That's the derby for season 13. It's a win for Raiding Party and Leon van Rensburg.